My name is Allie Cade and I'm a curator at the Sickle Music Museum in Greenville, South Carolina. I've been featuring some of our unique and creative instruments and this week I'm bringing you an antebellum American fife. This instrument was made by Meacham and Company in Albany, New York around 1827. It's made of fruit wood and it has long brass for rules on either end, uh, which are decorated with incised banded lines. There is a wide oval embouchure hole and six finger holes, and as typical for a fife, there are no keys. Around the embouchure, the wood is a bit faded and worn, which is a visible mark of use that further humanizes this object. Close looking at the body of the instrument also reveals some remnants of what may be decorative silver leaf banding. And overall, it swells slightly in the center, which creates a spindle-like profile. The fife is best known for its role in military music, with a shrill and piercing tone that can be heard over the sound of thunderous marching and warfare. While fife and drum were the British American field music of choice during the revolution, the early 19th century brought change to military ensemble with the introduction of brass instruments, like the keyed bugle. When this fife was made in the 1820s, the next large-scale conflict remained over a decade away, but the brass band was still growing in popularity, becoming a much larger and diverse entity entirely by the Civil War. In peacetime, fifes like this could also be used like any other convenient pocket-sized instrument for accompanying dancing and other amusements. The maker's mark, apparent on the center of the instrument here, reads Meacham & Co. This company was headed by John Meacham Jr., who was born in Enfield, Connecticut, and worked in Hartford before moving to Albany in 1810, where he was joined by his brother Horace. The Meacham brothers do have a direct relation to the Reverend Joseph Meacham of the Enfield, Connecticut Shakers, but don't confuse them with having a tie to the Colonel Thomas Meacham of Oswego, who is best known for sending a 1,500-pound wheel of cheese to Andrew Jackson in 1835. Together, John and Horace operated a shop making musical and military instruments in early 19th century Albany, which at the time was a bustling city and a strategic point on the Hudson River. Already in a central location for travel and the movement of goods throughout New York, New England, and into Canada, Albany's significance grew even further with the opening of the Erie Canal in 1821. John and Horace Meacham continued to diversify their own business operations, getting involved with keyboard instrument making and various types of hardware and home goods. In 1828, they joined forces with instrument maker Sylvanus Pond and operated as Meacham and Pond until 1833, when Sylvanus moved to New York City and joined the firm of William Hall and John Firth. Ultimately, the Meacham brothers were some of the earliest American-born wind instrument makers, and we're lucky to have a few of their instruments in our collection that we look forward to featuring in the future. Please leave any questions about the fife below and let us know what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.